Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, 2E0IQJ. This antenna here is a telescopic whip for 11 metres, you it on your handheld CBs. For a little modification, we can get this to working more reliably on 10 metres, we can even get this working on 12 metres. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so the antenna, on the end of it, you've got yourself a BNC plug there, it's because it's to your handheld radios, and I say extend the telescopic whip. Also, we've got ourselves an alligator or crocodile clip, whatever you want to call it. Got two of these from Amazon, round about seven, eight quid for both of them. I've got some speaker wire there, I think got five metres from Amazon, round around about five or so. And all we're going to do is add the, the speaker wires for the counterpoise. So, to work out your length for your wire, we're going to do 300 divided by the frequency and then divide that by four gives the length. So the length of the black wire is around about 2.63 meters, that work on 10 meters, and the red wire around about three meters, so that should work on 12 meters there. So let's go and connect it to the radio and see what the SWR is like. Okay, the antenna is connected to the radio. I haven't connected the counterpoise. I want to check the SWR before connecting the counterpoise. So as usual, we go to the menu on the radio. We go SWR, and we're gonna press that button there, and we're gonna give it a key. You see there, very high on the SWR. So what I'll do now is I'll zoom out the camera and I'll connect up the counterpoise. Now for 12 meters, you shouldn't need to adjust it, but you can do if you're finding that the SWR is not coming down, or you can just throw the black wire or red wire, whichever one it is, to a different location, and you should be able to bring the SWR down. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna clip it on the bottom there, like that. Now we're going to go back in and check the SWR. There we go. I didn't even adjust it and it's come right down there. Now we can do the same for 10 metres. With 10 metres, what you need to do is adjust the whip. So I'll go and do that and I'll put you back on the camera. Okay, I've gone hand with the camera and the counterpoise obviously is connected to the antenna there. And I've got the black wire just thrown out over here. And the red wire is just thrown out over there. If you find it, like I said earlier, if the SWR doesn't come down, you can chuck the black wire out and the red wire out at different locations to bring the SWR down. Now the antenna, so I've got it set up. Gone down about three or four sections. And I've adjusted the section there. So it's not as tall, but your results may vary depending on your location and stuff like that. But that's what I'm finding works for me, so let's just check the SWR. Okay, let's check the SWR for 10 meters. There we go, nice and low. And when you've got the band, it tends to creep up on the SWR. But we're below 1.5. We should be okay to make some uh, contacts across the 10 meter and 12 meter band. This should also work for 11 meters as well. So here we go, the crocodile clip counterpoise for the 11 meter telescopic antenna. Just by adding this simple counterpoise there with some wire, I was able to make the SWR come down on 12 meters and also 10 meters. Now I did try and get a contact on 12 metres. Two Echo Zero, Italy, Queen, Japan, QRP. Uh, somebody zero but not strong. Uh, zero station again. Yes, two Echo Zero, Italy, Queen, Japan, QRP. Sorry, no copy. I'm uniform, Tango 7, November, Yankee, QRZ. So effectively what you're doing is turning the QRP radio, such as the Zygu 6100, the uh, Zygu 6200, Pitch 100, the uh, ICOM IC705 into a handheld walkie-talkie. Now I'll be taking this to work in the week and see if I can make any contacts across the band. If you tried this method, does it work for you? Post it in the comments below. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video. This is 2E0 IQJ, 7-3 for now.